I want to uh, sincerely thank you for giving me the uh, opportunity to speak here today. I represent the 21st uh, Congressional District in the state of New York, also known as our Capital Region. Uh, my area is home to the convergence of two great highway systems, Interstate 87 and Interstate 90, also known as the Thruway and the Northway. We're also home to the Erie Canal and Barge Canal basins, some of the busiest freight and passenger rail tracks in the country, the Port of Albany, multiple airports, a system of locks, dams, and reservoirs, and much, much more. As we work together to create long-term transportation policy that reauthorizes the Highway Trust Fund, there are a few areas of interest I would particularly like to highlight. Those would include green corridors, high-speed rail, clustering, upgrading, aging urban cores, and small and smart transit. However, I am here before you today to focus on one issue in particular, that being truck parking facilities. Last session of Congress, I introduced Jason's Law, H.R. 2156. Now, I would ask you if you could kindly picture this. A hard-working mother with a two-year-old son in upstate New York. She and her husband are pregnant with twins. One late winter morning, she says goodbye to her husband as he heads out the door on another truck run. This particular run finds the rig filled with milk and the destination is South Carolina. She has said goodbye to her husband hundreds of times before. Only this time, he doesn't come back. On March 5th, 2009, that is exactly what happened to Hope Rivenberg. Her husband, Jason Rivenberg, was foolishly murdered in South Carolina while sleeping at an abandoned gas station along a highway. His murderer stole a meager seven dollars seven dollars from jason's wallet after shooting him in the uh, cab of his truck that is why i introduced jason's law this bill would rectify the dire shortage of site parking for trucks and improve the conditions at current truck parking facilities we must ensure that our drivers have safe re safe rest areas with parking for commercial motor vehicles parking facilities next to truck stops and travel plazas, and new facilities for parking, including weigh-in inspec inspection stations. Additionally, we must improve facilities that are closed on a seasonal basis and improve the geometric design of interchanges on the national highway system for better access to commercial motor vehicle parking facilities. Small businesses are the heart of the engine that drives our economy. If we require our truck drivers, who are themselves small business owners, to continue to ramp up their deliveries to small businesses and even major corporations, we need also to ensure their safety. Jason's Law, by investing in infrastructure and helping to buttress state budget shortfalls, does just that. In these difficult economic times, we need to continue to pay attention to our role to protect public and worker safety especially where regulations mandate their necessity. I believe that is part of the reason that my bill garnered the bipartisan support of 45 members in the 111th Congress. As we move forward in the 112th Congress, I look forward to working with my new colleagues in the majority and the distinguished members of this committee to advance safe, stable, and reliable truck parking facilities. The trucking community is rightfully worried about changes to the hours of service, ability to find and comply with parking regulations, and detention time. We are hearing from truckers on these topics each and every day, and it is my hope that Jason's Law will help to alleviate some of these fears and angst. I want to close my remarks this afternoon with these following words, written by songwriters Barry Allen and David Ayers in tribute to Jason. I quote, Jason drove that truck, reaching for that blue collar dream. Hard working man, making a living driving that big machine. He loved his son Joshua and Hope, his wife, but for seven dollars he lost his life. With nowhere to rest in between his loads, he was shot to death on the side of the road. Say a prayer for Jason. Say a prayer for Joshua and Hope. Say a prayer for all the truck drivers stuck out on the road. Say a prayer, say a prayer, say a prayer. Chairman Schmidt and Ranking Member Napolitano, 
and distinguished members on this committee, I would like to thank you for letting me testify before you today. And I would only end with this. While saying a prayer is always a good decision and a helpful measure, I hope that I can work with each and every one of you to ensure that enactment of Jason's law and make safe truck parking a reality for anyone that seeks it. And certainly, it's a way to answer the prayers of Hope and Jason's family and friends. Thank you, Madam Chair, and I yield back.